it's another, another video We're back yep lady brown we have no wires right now but she working two Update. four four one tc and design at local congrats mm, congrats yeah 1019 so they it's been it's been what eight days since the update wow and when you guys are watching this video it's probably been like 20 so <laughs> all right i see these huge flexos on the intake i don't definitely don't think that's necessary yes yeah but i mean hey if they don't actually have the smaller ones that could be why yeah yeah and i mean i feel like it that's just something like a little bit weight saving that you can do it doesn't really matter one way or the other it's going to be similar it's just if you want to shave off a little bit of weight and this is that. lady also, you don't need to i mm -hmm. feel like how you mounted your around the motor so you know it's like it's mounted off of standoffs don't you think that that may bend or something this and it's just so far away from the structural box point of the yeah CGI. i definitely suggest if you're building a lady brown right now right, as a team that's building a lady brown i definitely suggest that you do a, a like a triangle bracing right one going this mm -hmm. way perhaps and one going this way right so just basically making an excellent robot like uh what we saw you know two years ago during spin-up with 402b right the whole robot was just you know one big x and then oh one more message oh. <laughs> oh no but yeah anyways back to what i was saying that just cuts down weight so much and it's so strong because you know running into stuff with the top right it directs all of the you know a majority of the of that force right you know down into the drive train and that's you know definitely a lot better than directing it into a into like a one by one or a cgno and having that bend <laughs> yes yeah you know i think i think i feel like they just don't really have the necessary like materials here because i definitely don't think they're you know, using a lot of the because even like up here they're not you can't use flexibles they're using they're using uh sprockets. yeah so it's probably it's probably the case where they just don't have flex wheels but still winning they're like tc, TC and they're, yeah, winning tc and design is very impressive with this robot so i'm gonna give it a v tier and i mean you see they say they have no wires it was probably something the case where they're ordering them and old oh, robot rebuilt lady brown yeah he better rebuild to lady brown I'm gonna give this no. a beat here. Chat, almost done with catting. Chat, fish mech. Fish mech? I don't like fish mech. Mm, however, yeah. this just looks like a. Doesn't this just look like a tangent from from spin up? Yeah. Yeah. Put a slip gear on it. <laughs> yeah. Put a slip gear on it. Maybe then then you'll get S tier. Do you need those those <clears throat> metal gears. I feel like couldn't you use. Yeah, you definitely don't need that. I definitely think you actually want speed instead of power on, on the fish mech. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I would maybe even make it a little bit faster. But yeah, I'm going to give it a B tier and we're going to move on. Oh, okay. nope. Okay, the same one. Uh, Partial. This partial. is clean. Yeah. The motors fit very snugly on the Lady Brown. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're so close. They're, like, almost, they're almost touching. But, yeah. but their piston is zip-tied. The piston is zip tied. The, the the doinker is zip tied. Do you see that? I I do see that. Yeah, that's so you're gonna gotta not slow. be optimal. That cannot be optimal. That I'm I'm gonna agree with you there and just say that's probably not. Yes, I mean screws can't just can't be that expensive, right? Well, I I think maybe they were trying to save on weight, but you can't save on weight and sacrifice like your bot performance and i i feel like that's what's happening yeah and and, and they have uh these uh, wall gliders oh that, and that you have just, pulleys yeah that could literally just be okay. right you could literally just make this plastic a little longer and wrap it around the Wait, robot you're you're i mean that pulley isn't even doing anything because your doinker sticks out too far <laughs> yeah and also yeah just your doinker sticking out that far in general is going to be worse especially for like intaking against the wall because that your donker is what's going to hit it then you're putting pressure on the piston which is zip tied well yeah that's a lot of advices we're gonna give this a b tier i think everything else about it is very clean though yeah sharp one six four three yes i feel like you have a lot of flex wheels on each row there are, oh, there are so many. Let's count it up. One, two, five, five, five three. Oh, 10, 15, nine, or 19, 22. 
Yeah. How rich you, are you guys? You can probably just get away. Do you mind? With, oh no, not, not twenty-two. They have twenty-four. Do you mind donating to the Robolytics cause? Probably should donate, right? There. Wait, 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 wait. Go back to that picture you were just on. No, the one in the bottom left. How is that battery mounted? Oh, clips. Probably, probably by battery clips. Probably. Someone hasn't been watching the videos. Yeah, and, and also, do you see these hard stops for the intake? I do. It's wait, a standoff in a in a in a, in a pillow bearing. Not pillow bearing. Sorry, standoff in a bearing. What's that rubber band doing? The one around the motor. Oh, it, it's just to create tension. It's to like push the intake down. Oh, but it's around the motor instead. That. Yeah, okay. That kind of threw me off. Yeah. Um I I feel like you can save a lot of weight just by removing most of the flex wheels. Yeah, because I mean you're using like the the a heavy lot heavy yeah, the heavy heavy uh, flex wheel inserts. Yeah. And then wait, 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 are there lock go back? Are there lock colors on the top row on each flex wheel? Yep. And down yeah, here you, on the on the second you, tip, you should roll. you should you should space them out instead of using lock yeah collars. you only need one lock lock collar usually for for mm -hmm. uh, entire entire row because the rest of it is all going to be just spacers yeah I'm gonna give this a C tier <clears throat> and and we have we have such a we. How long is this? Wow. You know that that would be great in over under. You can score so yeah. many so many ring uh, so many or in, or in like tower takeover. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Or or in spin up, you can just block them from shooting. Oh. What if they're This is just a crack bot overall. What if they're like uh Hong Cook and they score the entire go in in auto? Well, oh, and, and they're and they're going to do that. Oh, they are an over under. Let's see, bam, bam, and well, they should have won. Robots. I don't know champion. why I expected. I don't know why I expected their bot to just push all of them. <laughs> yeah, there's that no point. torque. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give this an E tier. E tier. A B. Oh, this is a what? This is a snack of gigs design. Sidewall sticks. I don't know how I feel, feel about sidewalk sticks. I feel like uh, if you're going to do snacky cake mechs, you might as well just do fish mech, right? Because <laughs> just scoring out the front, is, I feel like so much better. Yeah, I mean, I even know that snacky cakes is now, you know, now doing uh, Lady Brown, so. Yeah, why are there pulleys is another question. <laughs> There's four. There's four. And there should be zero. Yeah, they will receive a CC. There should be a single pulley. Oh, from 10 to e. e. Bam. Yes. Bam. 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 And it's all automated. Bam. Bam. And they did Bam. win. Bam. The Robot Skills Champion. Yes, they did. But they lost to you guys in tournament. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. You know, I did. I do see how they're you know running into the wall with that. Uh, that redirect mech, but it's doing nothing to the redirect mech because it's within the robot. Well, it's size. all plastic. Yeah, and it's also it's all plastic, so it bends back. So I'm gonna yeah. give this an A tier, an S tier, and an my -tier. janky uh, robot. An S -tier. Mm, we will we will we'll see about that. Why are these pink? Why do you have like Lego parts on this? What is this Vex IQ? Wait, <laughs> and they have sprockets up there too, and they have googly eyes. <laughs> this is this is not it. Well, I guess wait, are all of them non-functional? It looks like all of them are just there. Why? <laughs> this is a very de decorated robot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I guess if you want, you just added just extra weight. Just just have Vex IQ parts. It looks like like yeah. the extended axle have those yeah. rockets. I mean, looks good to me. Looks good to me. Wait, what is the robot, though? Like, <laughs> oh, redirect. Hook redirect. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. 